Hello world, it's Curtis Potter with Boundless. Today, I wanted to talk to you because I've had some people ask me this question. Curtis, what does boundless mean? Why are you doing this boundless? Why is your brand boundless? See, I got to a point in my life where I actually started looking myself in the mirror and taking ownership. At first, it was just looking myself in the mirror and I was, I was feeling that guilt and that shame because I knew that there were things holding me back in life. Some of them I picked up from my childhood and some of the things that I saw as a child. But regardless, I was the one that picked them up and I was the one that adopted them in my life and I was the one that kept those bad habits going. See, I saw a video and it was by Will Smith and it's called Fault Versus Responsibility and some things are not your fault but it's your responsibility to change them, to fix them, to heal them, to grow from them, to use them as lessons and blessings in your life versus burdens. So boundless is, it's being the real, the raw, the reliable. Looking yourself in the mirror and taking ownership on the things that hold you back in life and they don't serve a positive purpose in creating joy and happiness in your life. I just want to lift up my wife. She actually has a page on Facebook. It's called The Real, The Raw, The Reliable. And see, both of our pages are just about growth and creation and intentionality. Go follow her. She puts some amazing videos out there and has some awesome guests on her show that can really just help you grow in life. And you say, well, Curtis, you know what, like... I'm not trying to be some motivational speaker like you. I'm not trying to be some millionaire like you. I'm not trying to be an author like you. I'm not trying to go out there and do this and that and this and that like you. You know what? That's, that's okay. All of us have different dreams and goals in life. I have a buddy that lives in a trailer and he has a paid off vehicle and he even told me that one day, he's like, man, Curtis, I just don't have the same dreams and goals as you of accomplishing all this amazing stuff and leaving a legacy to the world. If I leave a legacy, I want it to just be that I, I, I lived a happy life and was joyful in, in the least amount of stress as possible. He said, where I come from, man, it, it was best that my family wasn't getting kicked out of an apartment complex. So me owning my own trailer, mobile home, in my own vehicle, man, I've already done better than a lot of my family. And see, Boundless is not about becoming this 1% people of the most, the richest, the most successful, the most accomplished. That's not what it's about, folks. It's about creating the most amount of joy and happiness in your life. And yes, you've got to be real, raw, and reliable about that because no matter where you're at, if you don't look yourself in the mirror and say, am I intentionally creating that joy and happiness? Or am what I am doing actually apprehending me from receiving and achieving that joy and happiness, then that's what boundless is all about. It don't matter what's going on in your life, just are you able to efficiently evaluate and take ownership and have accountability partners that help you achieve the least amount of things in life that are binding you, holding you back. So it might be really summed up as in wholeness. I want to be boundless in my life where I'm whole on every level. A boundless mentality. Am I stuck in my ways? Am I resisting change? 
Am I only stuck to the ways I believe or am I open to hearing things? Because see, when I opened my mentality to hearing new things, that's when I really started to grow. And I was like, man, you know, some of the things I believed because of, say, some of the ways that my mom or dad or aunts or uncles or, or mentors as a, as a youth it wasn't the most efficient and productive way to live my life. Am I balanced physically? You know, there are times where I've heard people that taught me like, man, you might as well eat what you want because you're going to die eventually. And they died at 57 or 47. Had a heart attack at 40. Get worn out when they just go up the stairs. I was in a building yesterday and I was at the top of this flight of stairs. I was waiting on a meeting. And I mean, I was I was really saddened because I think there was like 12 people I watched come up them stairs. And I'm almost certain that 11 of the 12 was damn near gasping for breath at the top. And I think four of them admitted it out loud. I didn't really count. I'm just kind of going off my memory. But they admitted it out loud. And then they laughed about it like, man, I'm worn out. And I wanted to just say, buddy, that is not, that's not something to laugh about. And see, that's what got me back on my health kick too, was because I was playing with my kids and I realized I was getting worn out. And I had to take that ownership and say, Curtis, your physique has turned what it has because of how you have stopped putting in time exercising at least 30 minutes a day and now your physique is paying for it and it reminded me of that time when I was in the hospital watching my father and I was looking at my kids and I was like man if I don't get my act together if I don't look myself in the mirror and take ownership they're gonna be in that same hospital room crying their eyes out thinking dad are you gonna live through the night for a lot of my life I was not boundless emotionally I let my emotions control me. I'd go through some hard stuff and I would react badly. And that was not creating joy in my life. It was more like a trickle effect. It was like a snowball. The more bad stuff happened, the more I got in that victim mentality, that poor me, that bitterness, the jealousy, the hate, the anger. I was not boundless in my mentality and it was it was apprehending me from the maximum amount of joy and happiness in my life. And it's a choice. Whatever you're going through, just choose to be happy. And that was something that I struggled with and I was bound in that. I wasn't boundless spiritually. You know, I was using God more like a genie. I wasn't I wasn't feeling the earth. I wasn't accepting the vibes. I wasn't giving my faith in anything except for myself. And at times when I let myself down, that's what created that, that binding in my joy and my happiness. I wasn't balanced financially. I was one of those where I was like, you know what? And, and I love my mom. You know, she did an amazing job raising us kids. She did the best that she could and she taught us the lessons that she taught. But see what it was when I was real young, I think I was like, I mean, I was four. I started doing sales when I was four, selling gumballs, getting them for a penny, selling them for a quarter. And I was doing that because I wanted to save up for a Nintendo 64 because my mom said, sorry, son, for your birthday, we're going to spend like 30, 40 bucks. Maybe it was 50. I don't know. She's like, no, nah, no, 350 what the Nintendo 64 cost. And I wanted it. So she said, do some chores, find some ways to make money, save up, and then you could buy it when you get it. And see, what I did was the minute I knew exactly to the dollar how much that Nintendo cost. And as soon as I had that money, I said, mom, take me to the store right now. I've got that dollar amount that I need. She's like, all right, son, let's go. Bam, went and bought the Nintendo 64. It's mine. Well, now I need some new games. I started hustling that gum, and I started selling rocks at five. Walking around the neighborhood, picking them up, seeing the ones that look good, shining them up, selling those rocks. And then I'll go buy that game and that extra controller, right? And then throughout my whole childhood, that's how it was. If I wanted something, I would save up, and as soon as I had the money, I would buy it. 
Well, see, what that created was a mentality that I took into my 20s and 30s where it was like, hey, if I wanted this, I, I wanted a house. I saved up for that, that down payment. Bam, I bought it. When they say, you know, my bank account's empty again. And you know what? Most times it worked out right when you have a steady income. But unfortunately, what happened is life throws you some curveballs and then you just you went and spent all your money on a down payment on a vehicle. Then a curveball comes and you're like, bam, now I need a credit card. I need to take out a loan that's going to compile interest on me. And instead, now I'm in the in the way of like, you know what? I want something and I've got to buy an asset that will buy that for me. I mentioned on my one of my previous videos, I want to get my sleeve done on my tattoos. They're works of art. I look at them. I know that God says, don't mark your body. And that may be something that I'm going to have to, to, to answer to when I get to the end of my life. But I use my tattoos as a, a way, as a, a conversation starter. And it's helped me have tons of conversations in my boundless inspiration with people like big, huge biker guys. So I've, I'm okay with that. I don't feel burdened by that. And I know that my reasoning behind is I'll be able to talk to God one day and say, this is why. But see, now on my finances, when I wanted that tattoo to be boundless, I'm like, you know what? I was thinking about buying a vending machine and finding a place to put it for a soda machine. And, it, and, and using that money I was going to use on the tattoo to get a vending machine, they'll buy me my tattoo. And then actually, you know what? That vending ma machine might just be titled my tattoo machine because every time I get it to where, you know what, first I might get a tattoo, then I might use that money to get another vending machine. And then the net, the money from the two of them will be even faster to get me a tattoo. And then I'll get a third one and just keep that investment mentality. So, so Am I having a boundless finances or am I living in this rat race, that same circle, going around and around the mountain, not learning those lessons, hitting my head against the wall the same way financially without looking in the mirror and say, you know what, Curtis, it's time to make a change. If you want something different, you got to do something different because if you do the same thing over and over and over again, that's the definition of insanity. So why do I keep going to debt? Because I was in insanity. You know what? Sometimes it's like, is my integrity boundless? Am I, you know what? And I, I'm just saying this because there, you know what? Sometimes I was like, I would tell a little white lie thinking this is for the greater good. It's probably better off that you didn't know the truth. You don't need to know the truth. So I'm just going to kind of tweak it just a little bit because it's going to, you know what? It's just save time and energy of explaining myself, blah, 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 excuses. And then what? You know what? Then somebody that I cared about found that I told a little white lie. Maybe your employer, maybe your spouse, maybe your kids, maybe your best friend. And then what happens is it just drops the trust. It breaks the trust. And trust, it takes a long time to get back. Sometimes people will never give you that trust back. They're like, remember that time you lied to me? You know, I've even heard people, my wife says it all the time. I can, you know what? I can forgive, but I'll never forget. Well, that was, a, you know what? This, this error where we, where we can justify these little white lies is what's breaking us and binding us and preventing us from being boundless, wholeness, that boundless integrity, even if it's small or large, like if you're taking advantage of people for your gain, if you're hurting people for your gain, if you're pointing down on people to make yourself look better, like just all the things. How do you talk to your spouse behind closed doors? How do you talk to your kids? Are you yelling them, do not scream? And you're screaming at them? Are you practicing what you preach? Are you saying, do as I say, not as I do? That's what balance is all about, folks. It's not here me pointing at you. Because remember, you still got three pointing back at you. And one at God. Boundless is about growth, baby. Boundless is about joy and happiness time freedom, financial freedom, 
mental freedom that joy and happiness is all about. It's about knocking stuff off your your um, dreams and goals. What is it? Your bucket list. Sorry, I couldn't think about it. It's about knocking off the things on the inside that eventually come on the outside to help you achieve whatever it is you want in this life. That one life you get to live on this earth. Why not max out? and achieve. Man, sometimes it's because I was prideful, egotistical, shameful, guilty, regretful. It's okay, folks. We're human. My wife always says, perfectly imperfect. Sometimes I'll say, baby, that perfectly imperfect, give me a break. I'm not perfect. It's all right, folks. We mess up. We make mistakes. But what boundless is all about is looking ourselves in the mirror and saying, I'm going to be better today than I was yesterday. Even if you messed up this morning, the rest of the day, I'm going to be better. I'm going to be boundless, baby. I'm going to win the rest of this day, even if you messed up at 7 p.m. Man, sometimes, you know what? At the end of those days when I come home from work and I'm worn out and I woke up at 4 a.m., it's when I snapped on my kids or I reacted badly to my wife. And it's like, you know what? I just say to her, babe, please forgive me. I made a mistake. I was worn out. I took it out on you. Please, let's not go to bed angry. Let's talk through this. And me, I was always this type, of course, you know, I'm a guy. Sometimes I'd be thinking with the wrong head, too. Like, hey, let's make love at the end of the night and send this night into greatness. And then we'll wake up tomorrow with a smile on our faces. Today, I just invite you. What does boundless look in your life? You know yourself better than anybody. What are the things binding you in life, holding you back in life, that it's time towards the end of this 2021 to say, hey, you know what? How many times I've said, next year, I'm going to get this. Next year, I'm going to get this. New Year's resolution, I'm going to get this next year. Next year, tomorrow, next week, next month, in the summer. You know what? I'll get my beach body next summer. I'll get my beach body by summer. What? What's binding you back? Is it those excuses, that pride, that ego, that resistance to change, that resistance to getting help? I'm not going to no counselor. You know what? I'm so forever grateful for the day I started going. And and my my actually my counselor last week was like, "Hey Curtis, um, you know, how much longer do you think you're going to come to me?" And I said, "Look, you're the professional. You have the degree. You went to college for 8 years, whatever." I'm going to keep going into that moment where you say, Curtis, I truly believe that you no longer need counseling. I want your professional opinion because sometimes mine can be biased. I can't see my own back. I'm like, you know, sometimes I'm like, Phew. I was like, I don't need it. I don't need to read. I don't need to go to the gym. I don't need to put down that soda and that deep fried foods. I live, I'm healthy, I'm skinny, I don't... I don't need to get a uh, go to classes on how to be a better parent. I don't need marriage counseling. I don't need you to tell me about myself. Right? I just invite you. 2020, man, the pandemic came out. All that racist bull crap, all this political bull crap. All this bull crap, and it led us into 2021, where it was a year of, it was supposed to be a year of restoration at our church, and then still, you know what, we're all struggling from all the crap that's been going on, but you know what, let's finish this year strong. You can evaluate some things so we can start off 2022 amazing, create some small habits, because you can't just change, I'm changed, bam, new me. It takes a super, they say a study show, it takes a super dramatic experience for you to actually have an instant change. And I hope you're not going through that. So instead, that's why I say every day, just a step closer to being boundless. Let's work on one thing today. Let's meditate for one minute today. Let's read one page today. 
Let's say one thankful thing today when we wake up. Say one thankful thing before we fall asleep. Say one positive thing to your spouse. Say one positive thing to your kid. I say it all the time, son, I'm so proud of you for that. Because I knew that was just some of the stuff I wanted to hear as a kid that I didn't. No more of this hypocrisy, excuses. Today, we all work together, taking one step closer to being boundless. In the comment section, please put how you've become boundless in one way or another. Tell me about something that held you back for a long time and you said, enough! I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Today, I work on this area that's binding me in my life. Real, the raw, the reliable. Check it out. I love you all. You know what to do. If this video helped you, like, comment, tag, share it, send it to somebody in a text message, an email, in their DM, however you got to help somebody you love, challenge them on here in the comment section, tag them and say, hey, there's some things holding us back in life. It's binding us in life. The shackles, the chains, they're getting broken together, buddy, brother, sister, mother, I love you, kiddo, whoever it is, tag somebody and say 2022. We're going to be boundless together. You're my accountability partner. Tag me. I don't care. I'll message you every day. I promise you, if you tag me in this and you say, Curtis, I've been struggling with this. If you humble yourself enough to admit in front of everybody, I promise you I'll message you at least once a day until... You say, you know what, Curtis, I've got this. Just like I told my counselor, if you say, Curtis, you know what? I've got this. It no longer binds me in life. Just shoot me a text whenever you, whenever you think about me. I promise you I'll do that. I love you all. I thank you again for all your support, all the people that are following me, sending me DMs again. I love the DMs, but I just want to say, please put it in the comment section so others can benefit from your testimony. Your experience, that mess you turned into a message, that test you turned into a testimony, that less that you turned into a blessing. I love you all and be boundless. Have a great day.